Today we find out what happens if you take the limits of this game to the maximum level. This should be a lot of fun. Let's do it. We are starting this video off at the max and I have some good news for you. Today's video is full of amazing things that I'm sure you're gonna like to see. This is a Minotaur, very buff, or some people say Minotaur, which are they probably are an Al Qaeda oh. or something. Anyway, this is a Minotaur, and as you can see, he's very buff, and he's very strong, he's got an axe, and he's deadly. Well, I thought we'd have a whole bunch of them, because I'm gonna show you what a real Minotaur should look like. Not like this, but like this. Ha 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 This is the Minotaur God. Actually, I think it's called the Mecha Minotaur, and he's got this huge axe, and then he's got these things that come out. He's mechanical. And he also's got zappy things on his back. Pretty sure I didn't put enough of them down. He... <laughs> I think I might have overestimated the level at which he zaps his zappy zappies. That is pretty extreme, but somehow the minotaurs are still living. These things not only come out and spike things, they also have zaps on, on the ends. And, uh, let's just say the minotaurs are getting a little toasty. Oh, I like the skulls on his chest. Shows he's a true warrior. Even has kind of like an arc reactor field going. Let's start with this creature that's literally so large that it wraps around the world. It curls underneath because it can't even fit on the largest map. It is a gigantic centipede creature from Magna called the Devourer of Gods. It's so big and it's, <laughs> I don't even, look at how massive it is. It doesn't even fit on the map. It's got rockets everywhere, big spiky things. It's absolutely insane. Today, you're gonna see some of the most amazing creations from Magna and some crazy things that he's made that I think you're going to really, really enjoy. And I thought we'd start it off with a bang and the and one of the best ones. I was not disappointed. You know, prehistoric animals are cool and all, like the mammoth, he's very woolly, he's looking pretty intense. Spinos are pretty dangerous. They like to eat a lot of fish. You know, it's cooler than that. Dragons, and especially this one called the Plague Rider. There's a guy on here. He's dead, though. He's a dead guy. And he's got his little stick thing and a shaman wizard staff thing. And he's riding a dragon. Pretty sure that the dragon dude is gonna wreck all of them by itself. But what is the plaguey zappy dude? Does he do anything? He doesn't. Oh, he spiked that mammoth, though, with his club right in the mammoth's ear. The, ma the mammoths have ears? Oh, yeah, look, there it is. I just didn't see the mammoth ear. I thought it was like a hole or something. I didn't know that they looked just like elephants. Oh, that's pretty brutal. Let me tell you, the spino has grabbed the dragon by the face and is eating him. But it doesn't matter because it looks like... How, how does a dra- how does anything actually fly? Like, he's got it by the trunk! Oh my! He pulled on him so hard, he discombobulated him! As well, did you see this? Wait, don't go anywhere! I need to look at your body, because it's really mangled and weird. Did he- oh, it must have got put back to normal with that dragon blast. Well, it did what I thought it was going to do, which is destroy everything. I didn't see the Smilodons or the Deodons or the Terror Birds. That's true, Terror Bird. You're just a fake. Speaking of dragons and big gigantic creatures, I almost realized I went a whole episode without using these guys, but I did. Got some Goros. He's looking very spicy. Got some plain bagel thugs over here. And you got this guy. Ha ha ha! Gas or or something like that. I think it's actually like from the monster first. This thing is crazy. Look at his spikes on that tail. He's got some jacket. Oh, his feet are weird though. His toes are coming off the side. That doesn't make sense. He's got to stabilize him, I guess. And he's got these big claw thingies and then his crazy split jaw mouth. He looks nuts. Then we got this whole thing going on, which I'm not too sure what it means, but he looks amazing. He's even got another set of arms in there. To oh, this is a tree. Set of arms that make him feel good, I guess. <laughs> he's got a laser. I should have put him closer. Look at that sheer insanity of this thing. Oh, he just grabbed that Goro with both of his hands and then just ate him. 
He just literally ate him, disappeared, he's gone. This thing is extremely amazing and a little too intense for an army of Goros, apparently. Yeah, you you're gonna do something. That's that's for sure. You got it. You see that Goro flying? <laughs> He got it. He got him. He's got it. He's got something under his, underneath his nail. It's a person. What's this thing is nuts, man. I like it a lot. Here's your size comparison. <laughs> oh, jeez. And he's gone. There we go. Let's see who wins. All of Garden of Ban Ban 3 and some friends. Or this thing called Arduin. Look at this insanity. I think maybe this mech dude will win. But that thing does have a laser. And does he even have a laser? He doesn't. He's got zappies, I think. He's got a sweet looking tentacle neck thing going on there. Do you have TNT just now? Hey, my. <laughs> What's that smell? I think it's my CPU burning. Your graphics card is on fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's never a good thing. And I think we're about to witness something crazy here. In two seconds, and there he's dead. This Garden of Bam Bam 3 is night to be trifled with, let me tell you. I don't know why at the end I turned into a little leprechaun for a second, but I did, didn't I? Okay, so Arduin, I'm fighting somebody else. Can you deal with Thomas the Spider Train? Probably not, because he doesn't look like he is got. Doesn't look like he's got anything going for him. Maybe a nice little. He's dead already! Wow! Take it easy, man. This is a video. Can't be killing everybody right away. Weird gangly spider train, dude. You might have been able to defeat him with these, but I think your luck has just ran out because there's this thing. What in the heck is this? Some kind of crazy bird-like creature dragon thing with the most amazing looking face horn things. I've well, look at these lines. That's really, that effect is cool. Yeah, he's got armor. He's gonna, he's gotta have a laser, right? He's gotta have something. Yeah! To your face, Thomas! Can Thomas survive? Will Thomas win? No way. No way. The thing doesn't even fly, it's too big. <gasps> yeah! You won, Dragon! Take that, you weird eyeball cursed train thing! You just got destroyed. <laughs> I win, dude. Some, sometimes, sometimes I get a little carried away. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which one of these things you've seen is your favorite. Look at these little things flapping around back here. They're like antenna. Don't know why a dragon needs antenna, but it antennae, 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 antenna. Ha! But it, they, this one has it. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. See you guys in the next one.